I'm Charles Bankhead of MedPage Today, reporting from the Society of Gynecologic Oncologists meeting in San Francisco. Women who develop cervical disease related to human papillomavirus, despite vaccination with the HPV vaccine, nonetheless appeared to benefit from vaccination. The results of a study reported here showed that vaccinated women had a significantly lower risk of disease recurrence after surgical treatment for an initial episode of HPV-related disease. Dr. Warner Ha of the University of Alabama at Birmingham said the results have implications for a key unresolved issue related to immunization against HPV infection. One of the areas that's unknown, and there's a little bit of controversy depending on which groups you talk to, is whether or not we should be vaccinating sexually active women. And what we know is that the vaccine works fantastic in women that have not hit their sexual debut. But once women have passed that, we know that perhaps the vaccine may not work quite as well, but it does work. And one subgroup of that is women who have known disease and whether or not do the, getting the vaccine and having known disease and being treated, does that reduce your risk of having subsequent disease down the road? And I think this analysis demonstrates that. And I think it's just another piece of information that clinicians can use to really glide, guide patients. Yeah, I think you are a candidate for the vaccine. And I would argue that patients who have been treated for precancerous changes can best identify with the value of a vaccine that may prevent future disease. But up to this point, we've been sort of flying by the seat of our pants and just assuming that there might be some benefit. I think for the first time ever, this analysis indicates that there may really be some considerable and clinically significant benefit. Ha summarized the background of the study and the key findings. So basically, it's, a, it's what we call post hoc analysis. So it's based on analysis, you know, using the data sets from two large phase three placebo controlled randomized trials. It's called the Future One and Future Two trial, and they were both published in the New England Journal of Medicine, included well over 17,000 women as an aggregate. And what we looked at is, in both groups, women that were treated for cervical precancerous changes, vulvar vaginal precancerous changes, as well as genital awards. And we looked at the women that got treated on the placebo arm, women that got treated on the vaccine arm, and then started counting cases in terms of development of secondary disease, or new, what we call new or recurrent disease, and then basically compare the outcomes. And what we basically noted is that there's roughly about a 40% reduction in any HPV-related disease in women who got the vaccine. And I think that's pretty considerable, considering that, you know, again, this is, although it's not a formal study to look at this question, it really raises the question that perhaps women would benefit from the vaccine you know, in terms of prevention of secondary disease in the future. From the Society of Gynecologic Oncologists meeting in San Francisco, I'm Charles Bankhead, MedPage Today.